What's up everyone, Chasi here and in today's video, I'm going to be giving you some insight into a realistic week for me as a front-end developer. I know you all really like the realistic morning routine video, so I figured this would be something that interests you as well. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this. I just had to catch up on some emails. I don't always respond to emails on my iPad or, you know, send emails out using my iPad. Um, I usually use it as just a device to kind of catch up on emails that I can like simply like go to the Gmail app and sort through, you know, anything I haven't responded to or things that are more urgent. So with not being able to, you know, see our friends as much as we'd like to, whether they're across the country or just because, you know, quarantining and I think it's important to spend time, you know, whether it's FaceTime or Zoom and just chat with the homies. So I'm about to have a conversation with my Yuko just to talk about some some career stuff, some life stuff. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I'm trying to be better at like preparing for like my videos and stuff. All right, so I just got out of my first meeting, which is stand up that we have every day. The time does change, um, but today it was at 840 in the morning. So I'm actually about to do a quick 10 minute morning workout just so I can get the blood pump in early and start burning some calories a little bit earlier than I usually do. Also, by the way, it's Tuesday. For this week, I'm gonna have this new rule where I don't drink any coffee or eat anything until I do some sort of workout. That way, since I'm not like intermittent fasting right now, I make sure that I do some sort of activity before I consume anything that isn't water. And I've gotten into this phase where I can't function without taking a shower in the morning, but I know it will be a lot better if I were to work out and then have my meeting and then go shower. Before we continue this video, I wanna take a moment to talk about the sponsor of this video, Audible. You all know that I've been trying to read more often and more consistently just because it's important to read. Honestly, I feel my most creative when I'm just sitting down and reading a book without any distractions. However, as a full-time software developer, along with making content on YouTube, I don't always have that time to just unwind and read books, but I do have a lot of time where I can listen to audiobooks, and that's where Audible comes into play. The first book I downloaded was Can't Hurt Me by David Goggins. Goggins is a person that has really inspired me over the past few years with his incredible fitness journey and incredible mental toughness. I'm really excited to listen to this title and definitely recommend it to anyone that is trying to better themselves or have gone through tough things in life. Audible also offers thousands of podcast titles, guided wellness programs, comedy exclusives, and more. With Audible, there's no excuse not to learn something new or achieve personal goals. Thank you to Audible for sponsoring this video. New Audible members get a 30-day free trial. Visit audible.com slash Jossie. It's this link and will also be linked in the description box or text Jossie to 500-500 to try Audible today. 
The rest of Tuesday was pretty chill. I started diving more into the code and I only had one meeting. So for this type of web development, it's really just HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Pretty simple. The only part that's complex is the animations to make the display ads interactive and stand out on whatever page they're being served to. It's actually kind of cool working on display ads from time to time. All right, it's Wednesday and um, I'm about to make some lunch. Definitely did more programming today, as you can see from some of the like voiceover stuff that I talked about and B-row segments. So yeah, it's the middle of the week. I actually feel really good, energized. The sun's out. I'm burning up though in this apartment. Wednesday and I don't mind showing you guys the raw version of what my desk setup and just area is looking like. Got coffee from like probably like six hours ago and then I uh, got my camera gear, my favorite Microsoft Surface headphones too. They're perfect for uh, noise canceling especially when you're in a noisy location or just want to like vibe out to some like lo-fi um, I actually swapped out that plant for this one because it looked way better for the audible B-roll and I uh, actually need to clean up the area since I'm done eating. <laughs> what is up everybody? So today is Thursday. Um, just got out of a meeting. It is around 10.30 a.m. and um, I'm about to make some breakfast tacos to get today started. My project is gonna be due um, tomorrow that I need to finish up. So today's gonna be mostly a coding day similar to yesterday, but even more so today. So like I mentioned, today is a very code intensive day. I don't really like having a lot of code to write the day a project is due, but I do plan on meeting with my manager to clean some things up because I haven't been in this code base in a long time. One thing that can be tough as a developer is working on multiple projects and context switching. But when you have that skill set, you are very valuable to an organization. Thursday was pretty mellow because the weather was gray and not the warmest. I'm not even sure if I left the house this day, but days like today are great for B-roll. We also had our monthly team touch base, which was great. We did it through Clubhouse, which is the app that you can meet up with friends and coworkers and play games. Just kind of a great way to unwind at the end of the week. I didn't want to make this video too long, but on Friday I did more coding, but also had a few meetings. I finished up my project on time, which allowed me to unwind during the latter part of the afternoon. Right. Um, it is Friday and I'm about to speak at this uh, developer tech conference. The Howard University is putting on. So I'm part of the tech influencer um, panel. So that should be really fun. Thank you everyone for watching this video. Give this video a thumbs up. It helps with the algorithm and subscribe for more content like this. Stay blessed. Peace.
that was watching Watches it all in furls They clutching it all they pearls And no one asking for guidance Stimulus check, won't you cash up that I got n- and they said that respect they black Politicians and they said don't know how to act That's why we sitting on the